at 11. A toddler has died in a house fire in East Bakersfield. Thank you for choosing 23 ABC News at 11. I'm Amanda Gomez. And I'm Jackie Parks. That fire started tonight in a home on Washington Avenue. And 23 ABC's Carlos Correa is live tonight with more on what happened. Carlos? That's right. Take a look behind me and you'll see what's left of this house here in East Bakersfield where investigators spent part of the evening talking with neighbors and working on figuring out how this fire got started. Anthony Lascano is holding his younger brothers and sister a little closer after hearing about the death of his neighbor. I was in my room and I heard sirens going off. I come outside to check and I see the, all the fire trucks and ambulances around. I didn't know anything of it until I came out here and I just see smoke coming out the window and then I see a family crying on the side and I didn't know what was going on. Leaders with the Kern County Fire Department say an 18-month-old child was found inside the burning structure. It's kind of a, a sad thing to hear, and especially so close by, especially since I have four little brothers. So just imagine what they're going through right now to see just the feeling of losing a baby. Investigators say heavy smoke and fire was coming from the front and east of the two-story house. It took more than 30 personnel to battle the blaze. Yeah, they had an exposure just behind the actual building on the same address as a second building, uh, another, another residence. That building at one point was threatened, but firefighters were able to get back there and actually make an exposure stop. Crews managed to pull a hose line through the front of the home to control the fire. Officials say an investigation is now underway to see exactly how it all started. We just don't know what it is yet. It's still really early in the investigation. So as things become more and more uh, available, we'll make sure that we get it out. Back here live where we spoke with leaders with the Kern County Fire Department who estimate the damage at about $140,000. Reporting live in Oildale, Carlos Correa, 23ABC.